We finally have some specifics on Halo 4's flighting process, what features will be in it like crossplay and input based matchmaking, as well as all the content that will be in it along with the time frame to expect the flight to start. So let's get right into this information guys. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know when you see some more content like this. It helps the YouTube algorithm out so more people get a chance to stay in the know and see this video so they can stay up to date with everything going on with Halo. So as usual, as every Friday, Postums goes online and gets a nice little development update for the MCC. This is a little bite-sized thing to kind of give you over, kind of give you an idea of what's happening here. I was kind of expecting a smaller one, but we actually got some sweet concrete Halo 4 flighting information news but so much more than just Halo 4 guys because they got some great things coming in like crossplay, input based matchmaking and so much more so let's get right into all the details here. They mentioned how they're planning to have the flighting for Halo 4 to begin in October now they don't have an exact date when this will happen but they do mention that the initial builds of Halo 4 on PC have been sent out to ring 1 and 2. If you guys don't remember what the ring system is, ring 0 is internal, ring 1 and 2 are external partners, and ring 3 are the Halo insiders like us players. And for the most part, whenever they announce that they've sent out builds to ring 1 and 2, it generally takes about 2, sometimes 3 weeks to get a flight build out for ring 3. So recognizing the trends they've gone through the flighting process and building these games up with the PC, I would expect a flighting to begin for Halo 4 probably mid to late October, which that would fall rather consistent with the other time frames that we've had throughout this year of the different flighting processes that have happened. As usual, this flight is designed to test out the distribution pipelines as well as test out various features that will be coming into the MCC as well as Halo 4, for like various life improvements and just general fixes for the MCC on PC. And big news here, guys, we actually have a confirmation of what platforms this flight will be on, because every time I get these news and informational videos out, guys, they always ask, is it gonna be on Xbox? Is it gonna be on just PC? What's going on with that? We do know it's gonna be on the Microsoft Store, it's gonna be on Steam, and it's gonna be on Xbox One. We'll get into a little bit later why Xbox One will be involved with this. So there's four main chunks of content and updates coming with this, guys. So we have new features, we have the campaign and sparring house, we have multiplayer, as well as new settings. So let's go break that all down for you all. So for the new features, we have customization, forge, theater, challenges, season four content, input-based matchmaking and crossplay, server region selection, video graphics options, and being able to disable chat options. So let's work our way down this list. They talk about customization, and now we have seen some trickles of some screenshots kind of leaked around Twitter and stuff like that, but what they mean by customization is updated customization for Halo 4. So I'm assuming we'll have something very similar that we had with Halo 3's update the customization in with Halo 4. As with Halo 4, you're able to change you know, the, the headpiece, the chest piece, the shoulder, the uh, forearms and the legs and so I would expect to see something similar like that happen with Halo 4. This could also possibly mean some new weapon skins, vehicle skins, and things like that as we have been seeing for the last two seasons being brought into the MCC, which would be great to see. Since Halo 4 had Forge, obviously you're going to have to test that out as well to make sure that Forge is working all right. We haven't really had any big issues when it comes to Forge on the MCC since it's been released, so I expect that to go rather smoothly. Same thing, testing out theater, just again make sure it works on there, and I I would expect it to run rather smoothly as well. Obviously, they mentioned challenges, as in the challenge system, it's a very important thing to make sure that you can kind of integrate and make sure things are working properly. If you do an action in Halo 4, that it actually registers, which has been kind of an issue right now with the challenge system. They do mention, though, about the fighting new challenges for Halo 4 specifically. Again, probably just to test out to make sure that trigger happens, as uh, I've experienced it and many people other have, where they may play a certain, do a certain action that's been requested in the challenges, they go back in the challenges and see that it actually didn't update at all and they do mention season four content we might be able to test out a new season much like we did with the previous flight for halo 3 odst uh, they do mention as a to be determined basis of whether or not they can get it ready for a ring three flighting that's for the halo insiders uh though in the previous update they do mention that there's gonna be halo reach additional customization as well as more customization for halo 3. they didn't mention anything for halo 4 but i would just think it would make sense if you release halo 4 you'd want to have some form of extra customization for Halo 4, because that's probably the when people will be playing that game the most, as it's not the most well-liked of all the Halo games out there. 
Uh, the biggest thing though, guys, the test out here, input-based matchmaking and crossplay. I'm pretty sure this is why Xbox is being included with this flight process as well to make sure that you can get crossplay working. This will be a chance to actually finally get on and do it. Now they did mention in the previous dev update that it's not gonna be a simple turning on and off switch. What they're gonna be doing is by a per playlist basis to determine, I guess, how much they want to let people crossplay uh, for your extra social modes like action sack and infection and things like that. It'd be, you know, Wild West. Go ahead, match up with anybody, it's fine. Uh, but for more competitive modes, especially for like ranked modes, uh, they looking to have a rather strict when it comes to your input-based matchmaking there. My only concern with that, which I did make a video, guys, on it, if you all want to see all my thoughts on cross-play and input-based matchmaking coming into the MCC, uh, link in the description down below. But basically, I'm just kind of worried that most people play controller when it comes to the MCC, and that it would make MCC players who play on with mouse and keyboard kind of excluded from all the fun, but we'll see. So if a region selection looks fantastic as well, being able to select where you want to play and where you don't want to play is very nice. Uh, video graphic options, they did mention by a per game basis, being able to choose graphic options. Uh, I main thing is like, I really hope that the interpolation of the frames work. If you guys don't know, Halo 2 Anniversary is very framey on limited frames, and it's built off of the Halo 4 engine. So I would kind of expect to have that same issue carry over to Halo 4, though they are currently working on this issue, though I would expect to have anything above 60 frames to be kind of like what it's like on H2A. And finally, disabled text chat. Thank God that's finally happening. Though I like it sometimes on it as well you know it's i have some good interactions with people on there as well uh, why can't we just put a filter on what's so wrong about a filter i don't know we had it before way right back in reach and then it's just gone i don't understand they do mention about campaign and spartan else being added in here they're still working out what kind of maps and levels to kind of add into these two different mission sets so we'll see what they choose there they do mention about halo 4 multiplayer as well to be including some custom games social games competitive games as well so for your social you got 4v4 8 player free for all, 12 player infection, and 8v8. They do mention for competitive that they're still kind of working out exactly what they will do for the competitive playlist for Halo 4. And they're also trying to select out what maps they will choose for this. I think we'll know more information as we get closer to the uh, release date of the flight. Stay tuned to the channel, guys. If you want to know that information, I'll make sure to make a video as soon as that happens. And for the settings and support options, it's looking like for just PC, I think is what they're kind of talking about for this, is that they're looking to bring all your standard PC settings that we have right now in the MCC for any other game over the Halo 4 as well. So nothing really new there. Now also a very important thing guys, if you're gonna be taking part of this flight, make sure you go on to Halo Insider profile to make sure you register to get yourself ready to play this. And also if you've had any updates to your PC rig, as in anybody buying those new 3000 series graphics cards from Nvidia, such as like the 3070, the 3080 and the 3090, make sure you go on there and update your rig. That's also extremely important, just as important as signing up by itself. Again, link in the description down below. So it begins, guys, the news trickle for Halo 4 flighting and the crossplay awesomeness that's gonna be coming for us Halo MCC players. I will definitely be making videos constantly on this topic, guys, as we get closer to the flight date. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel, subscribe to keep yourself up to date with everything going on with Halo. If you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a playlist to all my news and informational videos if you missed some content from me recently. I've been uploading daily, so I'm sure there's something. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.